Welcome to this tutorial by River City Graphics. Today is going to be the first tutorial in a series of many that will demonstrate the pre-built components in Flash. So, to keep everyone interested, I'm going to be putting out a new component tutorial every day. Today's tutorial is going to be on the button component. So, to get us started, we're going to create a new Flash ActionScript 3 document. And once I do that, I'm going to change the properties of the stage to be 600 pixels wide by 400 high because that will correspond with the images I have. So we're going to import those images by going to File, Import, Import to Library, and then I'm going to grab this red light and green light images, or these red light and green light images. So I'm going to open those and you'll see them right here in the library. So now we're going to set up our timeline, and we're going to need two layers, so I'm going to right click on the top layer and just do Insert Layer. Name the top layer uh, button, that's where our button will go so that it's always on top of whatever we're seeing so you don't get lost because the button is not visible. And then we're going to name the bottom layer images. So now that we have that done, we're going to actually add the images. So I need to make sure that I'm on the images layer here. And then I'm going to drag out my red light image onto the stage and just get that centered up. All right, now I'm going to click on that image, hit F8, and then make sure it's on movie clip. And we're gonna call it red light. Okay, and then we need to add an instance name to this by going to the properties, and then red underscore light is what I'm gonna call it. So now we need to drag out the green light on top of that, and I'm just gonna put that over the top here. Okay, so there's the green light. We're gonna do the same thing. Click on it, F8, make sure it's a movie clip. Green light, GHT, okay. Click OK, and then we're going to give it an instance name. All right. So now what we need to do is actually get the button on stage. So we're going to go to the Components panel, and we need to do that by going to Window, and then we're going to go to Components, or it's Control plus F7. So I'm going to take out the Components tab, um, and here you can see all the different components. Yours might look like this when you open it up. Um, there's user interface and there's video components, so we're going to use user interface and then we're just going to drag this button right here out onto the stage. So now I can close that. I'm just going to try and center this button in the document here. So now what we need to do is actually add some parameters to this button. Um, in older versions of Flash, like Flash CS3, um, the parameters will probably be um, somewhere else than in this. You'll probably see them um, at the bottom of the screen. But in this tutorial, um, I'm using Flash CS4, so the parameters, you'll get to them by going to the properties, and then you'll click on this little button here with the little blocks it looks like. You'll click that, and you'll see parameters here. So what we need to do is change this toggle parameter from false to true, and that's basically going to allow us to use toggle functionality with this button. And we're going, to, we're going to also change this label, and basically the label is what shows up on the button, so we're going to change it to red light because um, we want it to show red light when there's a green light so that you know you click that and you take it to the red light and then we'll have it change later so that when you're, it's on the red light then it'll show green light on the button. So I think we're good for that. So I'm just gonna close that up and you'll see it changed. Now the last thing we need to do before we start coding this out is click on this button and give it an instance name and I'm just gonna call it uh, my button. That's simple to remember. So now I think we have everything set. We have everything with instance names and the stage is all set up. So we're going to go to the actions panel here and we're going to start coding it out. So first we need to add an uh, event listener for our button. So I'm going to say my button dot add event listener, open parenthesis, and it's an event dot change. And change needs to be in all caps and then comma and then we need to have a function. And the function, uh, I think, because it's changing the light, I'm just going to say change it. So that'll be the name of the function. So close parentheses, semicolon. So now, like always, we need to write that function. So function space change it, open parentheses, event, colon, and that's event with capital E, close parentheses, colon again, and then void. Then an open curly bracket hit enter a couple times, closing curly bracket, up arrow key. Now basically inside of here we're going to have an if statement. So if 
the image is this, then or if the button is this, um, it's like if it's clicked, then it's going to be this, and if it's not, then it's going to be something else. So we're going to have an if else statement. So we're going to start with the if. So if space parenthesis and then the event dot current target. So the current target is the button. So um, and the T on target is also capitalized. Dot selected. So if the button is selected, then it's going to equal true. Okay, and then close parenthesis, open curly bracket, close curly bracket, and then so we're going to say if it if it's true, then this is what's going to happen. So if this is true, then we want the green light to be off because we've already clicked the button, so we want it to be the red light on. So the green light is going to be off. So green underscore light dot visible, and then equals false semicolon. So that's basically saying that the green light is not going to be visible. And then what we need to have is the red light, red underscore light, dot visible, space equals space true. All right, so then a semicolon. So now we need to change the label on the button to correspond. So if the red light's on, then we want it to say green light instead of red light. So we're going to say my button dot label, and that's going to be targeting the label of the button. Space equals space, and then a couple quotes, and then a semicolon, and then inside the quotes is whatever the button's going to say. So we're going to put it on green light. All right. So basically, it's set up for that. So now we need to have the else statement. So we're going to have after the curly bracket, I'm going to hit space else space again, open curly bracket, enter a couple times, closing curly bracket, up arrow key, and then we're just going to copy all this stuff from the first one, put it into the second one, and then it's basically going to be the opposite of everything that the first one was. So we don't want, we want the green light to be on, we want the red light to be off, so we're changing this one to true, this one to false, and then we want it to say red light instead of green light. So if everything is going according to plan, then this should work. So I'm going to do control, test movie. You don't see any errors. It says It shows the green light right here. It's got a uh, red light as the button, so that's good. So we click it, changes the red light, changes this to green light, and you'll see you can just go back and forth forever. So this is a pretty nice uh, component that Flash has already put in for you. Um, it's probably not as easily customizable as if you created your own buttons. You might not be able to do animations as easily. Um, but if you're trying to get something to work quickly, uh, this doesn't look bad. It's a pretty nice looking uh, little button here. So if you are in a, kind of a bind, if you just want to test something out, uh, that makes it pretty easy. And it has toggle capabilities, so that's also very nice. So I hope you guys learned something about the toggle button uh, or the button component in Flash. Um, don't forget, I said that I was going to do a new component every day, so don't forget to check back, subscribe, rate, and comment, and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks.